Hello, dear friends, this is Maddy. We have reached the last section of Linux operating and commands. In this video, uh, we will learn um, important parts of these commands together. And from the next video, we will start uh, the main topics of the CH course. Well, let's see what uh, we, le we learn together in this video. Uh, okay, uh, this is some parts. Uh, the first part is about uh, compress files and decompressing that. Uh, many times, uh, may, maybe you download any files or any software or any package in your uh, Linux operating system. Uh, commonly, you will get the compressed files. The more important uh, compressed files uh, is, is files um, uh, with these uh, extensions that tar files that tar that gz that gzn dot zip files that uh, will be decompressed by these commands. After uh, considering these items and uh, performing these uh, practices, we will uh, discuss about uh, app dash get install for installing the software package, and then source list, uh, which is the update uh, update repository files that I will discuss more about that. That's what is it and. Uh, how we can use, and uh, beside of these and inside of these commands, we will use clone command. After this slide, uh, I have uh, another some ex uh, some exciting items uh, that I sure uh, you will be exciting and uh, will be useful for you. Let me start this one. Okay, uh, this is my Kerlinux. I logged in with root command that um, uh, don't uh, any problem for uh, switching between root and limited users. And my uh, setting of network interface card status is in NAT. And this is my IP config. Uh, this is my IP config of Ethernet zero. So I can ping the internet. Another item, I um, added the um, DNS uh, addresses that, uh, that I um, could be uh, ping uh, by name and uh, name resolution. Uh, with these commands, uh, you can add DNS echo. Echo with this, echo 4224 slash slash result.com, result.com, uh, uh, the same as uh, IP config of um, your network interface in DNS part, as same as this one, as same as this part. Okay, and uh, I added two, uh, two items, uh, first 4224, and the other, uh, this uh, quad eight, and uh, when I uh, when you want to add uh, more than one item in your DNS config files, you need add two symbol of greater than because uh, it uh, add um, another line uh, under the first or under the previous lines. Well, okay, and need after after configuring the DNS, uh, commonly need you reboot your. Uh, visualize uh, K Linux, and uh, when you reboot, you will ping by name. This is okay. <coughs> Sorry, this is okay. Let me start. Find what was the first file is uh, dot tar that uh, can be uh, decompressed by tar dash xvf. Find in a slash path any file with name of each and pass uh, and extension is tar way to find that okay okay uh, let me i have uh, another folder uh, cd ten folder config pack ls the config pack let me co a copy of this file into that uh, into that c 
created folder cp slash home slash cali slash temp folder when i get ls the, this is the config pack uh, pack.tr i can use tar dash xvf uh, and the uh, compress file name and extension it will be decompressed and we can use it uh, uh, overwrite it these items another compress files are tar.gz let me find it again find tar. find tar.gz i think it is not uh, any items okay okay it's not there no problem another file is .gz files that uh, can be decompressed by gunzip or gunzip uh, any name with extension of .gz let me copy of this file to the current directory copy of this file to the slash home slash cali slash temp folder templates oh sorry temp temp folder ls folder this is uh, the .gz file i can use gunzip command for lub and press tab okay and i will get uh, ls again i will see this item here that decompressed another command for decompressing is uh, unzip for zip command uh, for zip files find again find the slash and what about zip uh, files for example these two items we have in our current directly this is the zip files and mk dir uh, zip mv libraries into zip folder see the zip ls and use unzip libraries that's all and it's decompressed into some folders okay another command is app dash get install uh, i will give you for example app dash get uh, install uh php dash mysql for example php dash mysql php dash mysql enter if uh, if it doesn't be installed uh, and uh, don't uh, already be exist it will be installed and uh, will be downloaded from the internet and uh, after download will uh, start installation uh, another item is source.list source.list uh, is the file that contains repository items from the uh, from the internet for your kali linux the, exactly the source list is designed to support any number of active uh, sources and a variety of source media the file list uh, the file list one source uh, per line with the most preferred source listed first and the format of each line is uh, type uri uh, arguments well uh, in kali linux when you install your kali linux uh, commonly you will need uh, edit and upgrade your uh, repository files uh, to your kali linux uh, uh, to be uh, download to be accessible from uh, all files for uh, for, uh, for all files for update of uh, kernel of the system and uh, find any package from the uh, internet uh, you can uh, use apt 
dash git update uh, update you will uh, you will be uh, you will be able to update your cat linux by this command but before use this command you need to uh, i can't i don't want to edit uh, you um, you should edit uh, slash etc slash apt slash uh, source that list file um, you can search in uh, google and find new source list files new source list file and uh, replace uh, these uh, this files content with the new one uh, you can easily find on the internet uh, completely and what about the the other items i want to uh, teach you two most important items when you uh, creating for example when you creating a testing malware uh, in your Linux and you want uh, uh, copy that into your uh, practi uh, practical uh, for example operating system such as uh, the practical windows uh, there are many uh, many ways for uh, moving that for example you can use and connect the uh, usb uh, dongle uh, for a, a usb flash into your Linux and copy that in many times the usb will not be identified and many many problems may for avoid this uh, you have two grateful ways the first way is this for using the python and uh, creating uh, the web service in just in seconds just in seconds if you uh, if uh, you have Kali Linux uh, in, in previous versions of Kali Linux and your Python has been installed on that Kali Linux uh, to be Python uh, number two Python version two, uh, the command you uh, you can use is Python space dash m space dash capital S simple HTTP server S of simple is capital HTTPS of these uh, letters is uh, or uh, capital and uh, hit enter if you hit enter and uh, without uh, defining the uh, port number of 80 it will be run under the port 8000 uh, or if you want uh, to uh, perform and running the um, web server under the standard 80 port you should specify the port number of 80 or uh, maybe uh, you have the newest versions of Kali Linux that uh, Python 3 installed on that. Uh, the command uh, a little will be uh, different. Python 3 instead of Python dash m is same and HTTP server all lowercase and 80 for example or uh, any other ports maybe you, you want to uh, run the web server under that port. Let me check. Let me check. I now I am in a slash home a slash Kali a slash temp folder, for example, uh, getting back some folders. PWD slash home slash Kali a slash temp folder. Another one. This is okay. PWD. This is my current uh, folder. It's slash home a slash Kali a slash temp folder. Uh, my Python is uh, because uh, my uh, Kali Linux is latest version 2023.4. Uh, I have Python dash uh, Python 3 version, so I can use Python Python 3 dash m like this HTTP dot server with uh, a specific port or without it if you uh, if you don't specific if you don't specify it will be under the 8000 uh, port of number 8000 or maybe you can uh, define the ad port for example uh, http http dot server and ad just this finish now let's go to the windows uh, visualize windows 8 and check what happened okay it is started uh, now what's my ip address in Kali next let me check uh, 
uh, if config 119.128 and what about this one uh, oh, this is one is 129 and uh, check One ninety two one sixty eight died one one nine one twenty eight. Okay, the IP address this is just start the uh, uh, your browser one ninety two IP address one twenty eight. Uh, sorry, 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 one ninety two. 168.119.128 Just this All our files are accessible All our files in that uh, uh, In that folder that uh, Runs The command, the python commands under that Because uh, I, I, I did run the python uh, 3-m HTTP server AT command Runs uh, under this uh, Under this uh, folder Under this path and under this directory, uh, um, the Python will start and will make the web server that contains all of files and folders are in, uh, in, the, in the current directory. All of files here and easily I can, for example, uh, what about the files? Such as this one or let me find the file for download. I maybe it's under the page. For example, this is that far uh, dot tar, and I save without any problem and completely download it. This is the first way for uh, making uh, able your. Uh, uh, your cat linux uh, to be uh, give any files in any uh, directories accessible for uh, other systems the other the another item is uh, config installing and configuring the samba service the samba service is uh, for sharing linux and uh, making uh, and providing the folder and share that folder share the uh, a specific and predefined folder uh, that we can um, change uh, absolutely and uh, share that for uh, uh, sharing any files for Linux or getting files for, uh, for Linux for uh, systems for many many uh, operating systems it uh, doesn't any limitation for operating system or share files for them or getting files from them well going to description about that uh, for installing Samba, you should use uh, sudo space app-get install Samba and uh, sudo space and then uh, smb uh, password uh, dash a slash home slash Kali uh, the username uh, the username of your uh, currently logged in uh, you should uh, create uh, the share folder configure the samba.conf file I will describe completely to you and uh, check some running status, uh, setting the permission, and create user in window as same as the user uh, which present in Linux. Well, let uh, let's go. Let me check uh, login with Kali and Kali. Kali Linux. Okay. I installed before that Samba uh, in some many days ago, but uh, we'll start again sudo uh, apt-get install Samba uh, It has been installed and uh, it, um, it, if uh, it's not been installed, it will take a little time for downloading the package and install that well and cd slash etc slash samba and uh, ls 
there is this uh, smb.conf uh, it should be um, edit and configure i use the text editor open a slash uh, computer a slash etc a slash samba going to this uh, directory and open the smb.conf well these items should be configured i configured uh, before the video for testing so i will describe about you there is uh, in, at the bottom of the file end of the file you should go to end of the file uh, any other items for editing is uh, is not required for above items just go to end of the file. this is the sharing name this is the sharing name of the folder you uh, you uh, could sharing you, you could select uh, sharing or any other name it, it, it's up to you and it's comment uh, i prefer to uh, same as uh, the sharing name uh, browsable a space then equal then a space then yes uh, keep in mind this space path slash home slash sharing what's this a slash home see the slash home sorry a slash home ls this is the sharing i created the, the folder you should create this folder and place its name and its uh, path here path a space equal a space a slash home a slash sharing the folder has been created by you uh, it's uh, it can be in uh, any uh, place in any folder not important where it is, should be and writable yes for uh, capable uh, for creating folders copying files or folders in, in it guess okay yes read only no and force create mode 066 and force directory directory mode directory mode is 077 well we should save uh, commonly uh, the file is read only sh should uh, so maybe need uh, we save as and replace that smb new dot conf that's okay that's all well i close this and uh, let me cp from slash home slash kali slash desktop cd into this path ls this is the smb new cp smb new sorry sorry sudo cp smb new dot conf into a slash etc a slash uh, samba cd a slash etc a slash samba again ls and uh, sudo rm-rf for remove the smb.conf.conf ls again and mv smb new new into smb.conf permission deny sudo require ls we have smb.conf okay that's all and okay another item we need to uh, restart the smb service so i should use uh, this command sudo uh, system cto restart smbd restart smbd well and check uh, the, the status of that sudo systemctl status smbd uh, if um, in the first line both of these and these are in uh, yellow and uh, both of uh, them are disabled for enabled 
keep in mind, in the first time you configure the SMB, it will not be enabled. You should, uh, it's disabled and you, you should change into enable mode. For enabling the SMB, you should use this command, sudo uh, systemctl, systemctl, enable SMBD. Ena enable SMBD. Well, and check your status again. It's enabled. And the other uh, command you should use is uh, uh, for uh, setting the user who am I will show you the username that's logged in with that. And now uh, you should uh, specify the, the user is logged in with that sudo sudo uh, smb passwd uh, smb passwd dash a dash a kali with this command uh, you uh, specify which user uh, will use the samba service uh, enter Kali, Kali, the new password, uh, it will uh, use, uh, which user will, uh, will use the Samba and what's its user's password. The password of uh, the current users for Samba uh, passwd. This is not, not the uh, password of, this is not changing the password of current user. You, uh, with this command, you set the password for uh, this users in the Samba um, service. Well. And after that, you can uh, you can enable the created user by dash e sudo smb passwd dash e Kali. Enable user Kali as well. Okay, and uh, another item. This is enough. That's all. That's it. Uh, and uh, the other item you need is creating that user in your computer uh, windows as same as Kali Linux. For example, local users and groups, user right click that, user Kali, I created this one. Uh, no, 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 this is here. Kali, the password also Kali and Kali. That's enough. Let me check what's that uh, IP address. Uh, 1191.28. Maybe all are be good. Uh, 168, 119.128. And this is the sharing. And this is. Uh, oh, uh, I, I could set the permission as this 0777 I did set 066 no problem okay for uh, for uh, perm for getting permission uh, to write uh, you can go up the permission uh, in uh, that line I said uh, force create mode uh, instead of zero uh, triple six you can use zero triple seven for Get, uh, putting the uh, file in the shared for the Linux from the Windows. Now you can select and uh, you can access the files in Linux that uh, did put in the sharing folder. For example, uh, ls cd slash home slash sharing. For example, I can uh, what we have. For example, I can uh, sudo mkdir test fol folder and check it now the refresh and this is the test folder that's all dear users uh, this is the uh, this was the uh, second uh, this was the uh, last item and last video for uh, linux commands there are a huge number of uh, Linux commands that may be used, useful. It's very, very uh, extensible. It's very large items of commands and 
any other information and knowledge about that. But uh, because uh, we focus uh, on the uh, certified ethical hacker, just uh, we uh, discussed um, in range of um, any items that we need uh, for sleep for uh, Linux operating. And uh, certainly we will produce another uh, separated complete uh, video file for Linux courses. Have a nice time and let's go to the CH main topics.